hello everyone it is princess underscore mini four and welcome or welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be filming a weekly vlog or a week in my life if you guys are new here please make sure you hit that notification bell and hit that subscribe button so you never miss a post ziggy good morning it's 8 1 a.m it's Saturday, February 17th. Good morning. Today is Random Acts of Kindness Day, a day to do something unexpected to bring cheer. How about some inspiring music to start it off? Just say, play what a wonderful world, and remember that no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. So I always start these videos off on Saturday. It's just a thing that I do. So today is Saturday, February 17th. Um, you heard from my Alea. So today it is eight in the morning right now. I got up at like, well, I woke up at like seven, but I physically got up at 7.30. Um, today I'm actually going to take my graduation photos because you guys know I'm graduating on May 10th. So my graduation photos are today, which you didn't have to take them, but they were like, why not take them? They're free. You don't have to pay for the pictures, but they're taking them for free. So I decided to take them because when I graduated my community college, they didn't take any pictures like this. So, yeah. Um, and of course, it decided to snow overnight. It's not that bad, but I'm about to um, get dressed. Not get dressed, but like get dressed for now. So I can run out there, start my car and clean my car off and just shovel real fast. Because we do want to leave around here at 9 and it's 8.09. But I'd rather do that now than have to come back afterwards and clean my car off. So that's what I am going to do. That's not going to take that long because it didn't really snow that much. But yeah, so I'm going to read my Bible. Then I'm going to quickly throw on some clothes. I grabbed out of the dirty clothes because it is 30 degrees out. That is my grandma blowing her nose. It's 30 degrees out, so I'm just going to throw on some sweatpants over my pajamas just so I can do all that, come back, then I can get washed up, and then we can leave um, here. Well, you'll see my outfit when I get dressed, but I think I'm going to grab some leggings because this is a skirt that I've worn. I'm just wearing it again because I've worn it, I think, twice. I just got to wear it one more time, then I can wash it. I like to wear my clothes, for my pants for like three times at least because, I mean, how... I don't get my pants dirty. Like my shirts, my underarms start to smell. So I got to wash my shirt probably usually one time after wearing it, but not my bottoms. But yeah, um, well, don't mind the socks. The socks are um cherry Coke. But <laughs> and then I'm wearing this shirt that I'd never worn. I think my grandma got it for me or it was hers or something. I don't know. But yeah, because I think you're going to have a picture with your cap and gown on. Well, the cap and gown that they're giving you and then they're giving you like, I don't know. Y'all we'll figure it out when I get there. Um, but yeah, I will probably talk to you guys when I am all dressed and ready to get up out of here. All right, you guys, outfit of the day. I don't know where I got this shirt, but it says Fashion Nova Men. I've never had Fashion Nova in my life. It was probably was my uncle. So here is this turtleneck shirt and then this skirt. And I got on leggings and my church boots and we're heading out. y'all right, so it is 12.06 i am home um i'm getting undressed obviously but i have on leggings so i'm not like anyway but oh i gotta take my boots off first so it had snowed overnight but we just had to quickly i didn't really have to clean off my car then but i did not i knew i wasn't gonna feel like coming home and cleaning off my car so that's why i was like let me just clean my car off now um, and we ended up leaving here like a little late, but not really because we got at my school at like 10 and my point was at 10 18. I know it's such a weird time, but I literally walked up in there. He said, what's your name? I told him my name and then I had to fill out obviously like my address and where they're going to send the proofs to once they get done. They're going to be doing this for like all the way up until April because <laughs> uh, there's so many students that are graduating because there's, you know, undergrad graduating then there's 
graduate and I think there's even post graduates like everybody's graduating y'all so or there's something in my eye because the two people I was in there with and they're not even graduating I think at the same time I'm graduating look at that but yeah I had to take that shirt off y'all I'm throwing that shirt out not throwing it out I'm gonna give it away I don't throw out clothes unless they're you know um this is dirty but yeah so then they um I had to sit there and then I had to put on the cap, um, the, the gown and then like the, what they call that? The hoodie, the hood, like, cause they're different colors for like status of graduation. So the people that had masters that were in there, theirs was like a nice gold color. I mean, mine was like a blue, so I'm not like complaining, obviously. Then after that, so I went and I took pictures with the first guy with just the gown and that on. Then I had to wait again and then I went to the second guy and that's when I did one with the cap, me holding the cap. Then I had to do one with me um, holding, putting the gown, the um, cap on. I had to hold the cap, then wear it. Then I had the one with the little, the rolled up degree. And then I had like the degree, um, what they call it, the sleeve. And then I just took the cap and gown completely off. And I just took pictures with my outfit. And I can use that for like, if I ever need to use headshots for anything. So that's the good thing about that. Um, and today is Saturday, so we are going to bring out Mr. Messiah. Um, I've been bringing him out on the four days of the weekend, so Friday through Monday. But yeah, so I am home now, and I got me a coffee from Wawa, a, a large car caramel iced latte. It is so good. And then I am just going to sit here and rest and relax the rest of the day, y'all. And I got to trade cards later because I'm going to church tomorrow. But yeah, say hi, Messiah. <laughs> Ooh. all right you guys so it is 4 33 my uncle came over and we was just all chilling and we got this pizza from goldbelly.com so we just all kind of tried that and had some of that just to see how it was it's was actually pretty good it was like a chicago deep dish pizza it was actually pretty pretty good but now i just going to continue resting i'm going to like play my switch and just chill i'm gonna try to do yoga tonight I've been trying to do yoga on the weekends. I just ain't been feeling good because, you know, I stopped taking my Zoloft. So I've been dealing with like the withdrawal symptoms of that. And that may be what's wrong with me entirely, but we'll just have to kind of wait and see. But yeah, I am just going to sit back and rest and relax. I got to get up tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. y'all it's saturday night i'm gonna take a shower and wash my hair so i don't gotta do it in the morning y'all i lied the cold i mean the hot water not running anywhere in this house so therefore i will not be showering so if it doesn't come on by tomorrow morning i may not be going to church because i ain't gonna go to church and not shower so wish us luck you guys i don't know what in the world happened Ziggy, good morning. The time is 9.32 a.m. Today is Sunday, February 18th. Good morning. It's John Travolta's birthday today, which gives me Saturday night fever all week. Ooh, good morning, you guys. Today is Sunday. As y'all see, I am still home, so. I woke up this morning at 7 a.m. and went to the bathroom. And when I went to the bathroom, obviously washed my hands, water still freezing cold. And it was 20 degrees outside. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna stay home. <laughs> so I go to church next weekend. The only thing about me is that I have this routine set up and my thing is I, I'm going every other weekend like I've talked before so it's like if I don't go today which I'm not going today because it starts in like 10 minutes um then that means that I won't go next weekend but then that's going to throw me off of my schedule because right now I have it set up that I'm going to be going to church on Easter which is kind of what I really want and I'm also going to church on Mother's Day and stuff like that so it's like that's the thing when you have OCD it's all in your head 
So it's like my thing is that I'm laying there in the bed. I couldn't sleep because of this. I'm like, now I can't go next. Now if I go next weekend, then it's going to throw me off my schedule. And a regular person would just be like, oh, well, I'll just go two weekends in a row. But I don't think like that. But I'm like, but I want to go every other week. I don't want to go two weeks in a row. Then I'm like, girl, what is wrong with going two weeks in a row? So I think as of right now, I'm going to go to church on the 25th and on the first week of March. It's not really that big of a deal to go two weeks in a row. But tell my brain that. But anyway, I had to brush my teeth in freezing cold water. I put some water on my face, almost froze to death. Now I'm boiling some water for my grandmother. So, yeah, we're probably going to call them tomorrow. And they'll probably be here right away because it's a water heater thing. But, yeah, no showers today. And getting washed up, we had to use boiling hot water. And, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to be watching my church service on the TV. And I will talk to you guys later on today. Also, I like to say happy birthday to my great grandmother in heaven. Her birthday is February 18th. Happy birthday, great grandma. Y'all, I am having the worst cramps right now. And I just went to the bathroom, changed my underwear, put a pad on, TMI, whatever. And nothing's coming out. So I'm like, why am I having these horrible cramps? But I am having the worst cramps right now. So pray for me. I don't know what's going on, but I'm about to take me some Tylenol regardless. That's crazy. I've never had this happen before. All right, you guys, so I want to update y'all. It's 3.31. I am no longer having cramps. I only had the cramps for like 10 minutes. It was really weird and really random. What is that? Oh, it's a hole. And it makes sure it's not a bug. Um, Yeah, that was really weird. And I'm still not bleeding. So anyways, <laughs> it's just being a female is weird because anything, any kind of cramping, you don't know what it is. I really do think there's something wrong with me. So I need to go to the doctors and then have them stop brushing stuff off. Because even though I went the other day, she was like, oh, you're nausea and stuff. It's just probably from your low blood sugar. Okay, and I'm still nauseous, y'all. I've been nauseous for a month now. So, yeah, it is what it is, though. Anyway, I'm going to have me another hot chocolate, y'all, because that hot chocolate was banging, and I'm kind of craving another one, so I'm going to have another one. I'm um, not from the same one, though. I think from the other. No, maybe I will have the same one. Anyway, and then we were sitting there, and this balloon popped, and... I blew up Black History Month balloons because it's February, and for some reason... All the green ones popped. Like I blew up five black, five yellow, five red, and five um, green. So far, three green have popped. And no other color has popped. So I don't know if the ghost in this house. Because y'all know there's a ghost in this house. I talk about this stuff all the time. How the TV in my room turned on and started playing my YouTube video. There's a ghost in this house. It is what it is. So I guess the ghosts don't like the color green. I mean, excuse me. I didn't know ghosts were particular. But anyway, I'm about to have me another hot chocolate and we couldn't find a balloon for a long time. So we was like losing our minds because we're like, okay, so the balloon popped, but we can't find a balloon. So anyway, yeah, get kiss, Biggie. Monday, February 19. Good morning. On this day in 1878, Thomas Edison patented the phonograph. He had over a thousand patents in the US, which must be a record, but not one you can play on a phonograph. Ziggy, play lo fi music. The station, Lo-Fi Hip Hop Radio on Amazon Music. 
All right, good morning, you guys. Today is Monday, um, the 19th. Happy President's Day. You know, when you're a worker, you don't get off on that day. And when you're a college student, you don't get off on that day. It's just, I don't know, it's a day for banks and um, post office to get off. But yeah, so I am in my room, as you just seen. I am getting ready to go to a meeting with this teacher. She's supposed to help me to start the process of getting my substitute teaching certification. So I hope that goes well. Um, I'm still having the brain zaps from stopping my Zoloft. And if you don't know what a brain zap is, look it up. I would not wish that on my worst enemy. It literally just feels like your electric nose is going zink, zink, zink. Like I just got struck by lightning. It's crazy. But yeah, the guy is out there currently to work the water heater. If it doesn't work, he said to try 30 minutes, then try the water. If not, we're going to have to replace the entire water heater. Either way, I need a shower tonight before my class tomorrow morning. But yeah, I am getting ready to go to my meeting. I am drinking my Slim Fast. I got my lo-fi music on. My candle is lit. It is time to be productive. Time to work, y'all. So, yeah. I also submitted that I am completely done my independent project. I literally turned it in. If you guys want to see my independent um, project for for me to be able to graduate, let me know in the comment sections down below. Because um, that's typically what I would do every single Monday. Now on Mondays, I'm going to have no homework to do unless I decide to do homework for like a different class. But yeah, technically Mondays are going to be my free day now because I no longer have to do an independent project. But yeah, let me know if you guys want to see it. I worked very hard and it was very fun. And I think it was such an interesting thing to do. All right, you guys, so it is just now 12 o'clock. I am just off of my meeting. So pretty much I just have to wait to hear from the state um, so they can redo my fingerprints, which luckily I don't have to go back and do my fingerprints again because that was a long process. But they're just gonna run them through the system again and see if I have any criminal, which we know I don't. So pretty much I should be starting my substitute teaching process. It may not even happen this, um, this school year. I may have to start Look at my face, y'all. It may have to start in the uh, next school year. So 2024, 2025 school year, which is fine. I just want to have kind of have it done and just kind of apply and just be able to substitute when I can. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty much just going to be chilling right now. I have nothing else to do today. I think the water has been fixed. I heard them come back and stuff when I was in my meeting. But yeah, I will talk to you guys when I'm doing something else. Oh, all right, you guys, it's 1 30. Um, the hot water is back on, so I was able to get washed up, which was really nice. Um, and then, of course, my that is the time of the month, so now that finally started. I was cramping like crazy yesterday just for nothing, just for it to start today. One thing I can tell y'all last semester, I was very lucky and very blessed for whenever my cycle came on, it always came on like on weekends. So by the time Tuesday came around, I was already kind of like worse the worst past the worst stages of my cycle which is day one two and three but of course no it wants to come on monday so tomorrow i'll be going to school bleeding like crazy um it's so funny my fall semester i was so lucky and blessed my spring semester two times in a row i've been going to school during the worst of my cycle so i know that when i got two more cycles and this school is over i'll probably be it'll always be on the first second or third day so it is what it is i'm just unlucky but yeah i'm about to start playing my switches and then i'm going to have some lunch at two and yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Okay, you guys, I'm going to try this P.F. Chang's shrimp lo mein. I ain't really feeling it. I don't really have an appetite because it's that time of the month. So it has lo mein noodles with shrimp, with sesame soy sauce, mushrooms, bok choy, celery, and carrots. 
Here's what it looks like. Now that's a no. That's disgusting. All right, you guys. So I'm obviously not eating that shrimp lo mein stuff. Disgusting. Um, but one thing I did not mention, I am participating in Lent this year. So I'm staying away from fried food and like fast food and also social media. But this right here, it says oven crispy. So to me, that means that it was oven baked. So I'm getting ready to have these. Me and my grandmother are going to have the jumbo butterfly shrimp oven crispy. And yeah, that's going to be our dinner. And I guess tomorrow we'll just have to take out the Costco pizza we froze because we had that from the Super Bowl. They're about to go in the air fryer, by the way. Um, we had the uh, Costco pizza from the Super Bowl and we put it in the freezer. And that's what we're probably going to have tomorrow because it's frozen, so we can't have it today, obviously. But yeah, that's what happens when you try new things. It's not a bad thing to always try new things, but sometimes it's like, ew. The taste of it's just disgusting. The shrimp don't taste like shrimp. The noodles, I don't know. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I used to love lo mein. I also haven't had lo mein since my weight loss surgery, so it could be the difference there too. Your taste buds definitely change after weight loss surgery. So, the old me would probably would have loved it, but this version of me is like no thanks. So, yeah. Alright you guys, it's going on 10 p.m. and I'm getting ready to take a shower and wash my hair and I will talk to you guys tomorrow when I am at school. Ziggy, good morning. The time is 6.34 a.m. It's Tuesday, February 20th. Good morning. Today is Hoodie Who Day. I'm not even making that up. It's a day to chase the winter blues away by going outside at noon and chanting, Hoodie Hoo, Hoodie Hoo. You also wave your hands in the air. I suggest waving them like you just don't care. Good morning, you guys. Sorry for the weird angle, but honestly, you guys, I'm running late and I feel horrible, like on the verge of tears right now, but I ain't finna cry. Cause I ain't, I, I'm a G. But um, anyway, one thing I hate about being a college student, which I could probably list a good amount, but with these two teachers I have now, you can only miss like two days, right? And it's only February, so it's like, I feel horrible today because it's my second day of my cycle, blah, blah, blah. So in hindsight, it's like, well, just don't go to school today. Yeah, but then what if I get COVID? Like, or what if I just get sick or whatever? Or what if my next period is worse? And I can only miss two days. Bro, that's one week. We have two days of classes a week. I have a Tuesday and a Thursday class. I don't even know what y'all looking at. But I have a Tuesday and a Thursday class. And I can only miss two days. So that's one week. If I get COVID, let's say on a Monday, you have to be out for five days. So that's already pushing it. So it's like I have to go to school today even though I feel like crap. Crap times nine million. Stomach is cramping. I'm bleeding up a storm. Like I said, I literally had to get washed up again this morning despite showering not even 12 hours ago. So it's just kind of like, in hindsight, I would stay home today, but no, I'm not allowed to stay home <laughs> because if I stay home, then I'm not gonna pass my last classes in order to graduate. So yeah, maybe this is just real life. I'm getting a taste of real life because when I get a job in a few months, I'm gonna have to go to work even when I feel like crap as well. So I might as well just get used to it. But yeah, this is the main, not the main reason, but I would love to be pregnant right now and not have a period. And I know it's like some people still get their period while they're pregnant. Well, if they do, it's not a full-blown period. It's very light. 
and usually no cramping and I trust me y'all I've done enough research on everything to know everything about it considering I've never been pregnant and then I'm trying to leave I'm running late of course like I said because I had to get re-washed up and everything put a pad in put a tampon in just to probably have to get to school and change my tampon because yes that's how much I'm bleeding which a tampon should last you six hours oh no I don't even get two half the times and I'm nauseated it's just a whole lot right now I really don't feel good I really wish I could have stayed home but like I said it's only February so if I stay home now God forbid I get sick in the middle of the, like in, in March and then I can't stay home then and if you have to stay home when you have COVID so boom then I'm gonna fail so it's just kind of like well I guess I just gotta deal with it today and hope I don't bleed everywhere and then um yeah so then I'm pulling out and then two people pull out in front of me I didn't even stop at the stop street because I was just like I don't have time like I'm so irritated I'm saying to God I'm like whatever I did yesterday I'm sorry I don't know what I did to deserve this but anyway y'all I gotta stop crying so I'm getting to go into Wawa I will talk to you guys later all right you guys so it is 805 um I'm in a little bit of a better mood my mood was like a zero out of ten earlier now I'm like maybe a three or maybe a four out of ten um, my stomach ain't cramping, but it's so funny. I almost rather have horrible cramps and light bleeding than heavy bleeding and no cramps. So, yeah, um, I was going to take my Tylenol when I got to school, but my stomach was killing me this morning. So I took my Tylenol at home, but why are they driving so fast through here? I'm, <laughs> I am in such a bad mood this morning. Like, respectfully, everybody can get it. Everybody can get my attitude today. I'm sorry. But anyway, I'm getting ready to take my Tylenol. And of course, I went to Wawa. And I went to Wawa, like I said, on Saturday. And they had that new drink, but I didn't want to try it until today. Now they don't have it. So, I'm just never going to try that new uh, Toasted Caramel Crunch. I'll just never try it, I guess. So, I just got my regular Frozen Caramel. Whatever. She got caramel all over this thing. But yeah. Mm. That is too sweet. But yeah, um, I'm finna walk up in there. Then y'all know I'll probably just talk to you guys when I get back home probably. Because, yeah. I don't even know what else to say. Like, I'm telling you, I don't know what it is. Like, I got like, you know how they have like pregnancy brain? I have like period brain because I really am just not with the program. Like, my brain is still laying in the bed. <laughs> like, I'm not here. I'm just, I don't even know who I am right now, y'all. you guys so it's going on like 12 30 and i'm finally on my way home today was the longest day ever like i just hate being on my cycle which is like it is what it is but anyway and i drank like five sips of my coffee if even five so that's just like four dollars five dollars down the drain i just was not feeling it probably because i wanted that other drink that they had on saturday now all of a sudden it's gone so i don't know but yeah which is really not good to skip meals while you're on your cycle because your body's already going through a lot. But if I don't like something, one thing I ain't gonna do is drink something I don't like. And I just, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. But yeah, so I'm on my way home and then I'm gonna, you know, drink my water on my way home. And then when I get home, I'm gonna eat my lunch a little bit earlier. Y'all don't have to cut this. There's a line here for a reason. People cannot drive, college students specifically. Um, my mood is a little bit better, but I feel like once I get home, my mood will be 100%. I'm just, I don't, I hate being on my cycle and I hate being out on my cycle, especially against my will. Cause like I said, I ain't allowed to take off. But yeah, I'm going to um, talk to you guys when I get home and get all undressed and get comfortable and everything like that. And I have to read my Bible and stuff because I do not have time to read it in the morning and definitely not on my period. Okay, you guys, it's like, what time is it? Hold on. 2.34. Um, and we are getting ready to go to the grocery store to pick up a few things so we don't have to go grocery shopping tomorrow after the laundromat. And yeah, I feel good right now. I ain't cramping right now. But it's time for a pain pill at 3, so we got to make sure we get on that, you know, you know? But yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys, so I'm going to show you everything that we got from the grocery store. 
So you got us some red grapes right here. This is this little fruit mix thing, strawberry, pineapple, blueberry. Then we got cottage cheese, two things of mozzarella, shredded cheese, provolone cheese, two apples, two bananas, got some stick butter. Now I wanted to try this green giant rice veggies. This is the rainbow cauliflower. It just looks pretty. Look at it. Then we got some of these Lunchables crispy grilled cheeses. They're so good. Then y'all know I had to get my lactose free milk. Look when it expires, April 26th. I'm always going to brag on my milk. So then we have these strawberries right here. And then over here we have some powdered sugar. Some of my mini marshmallows for my hot chocolate. We got this country time lemonade mix. Then they were, these are new, these little Skippy peanut butter bites. I have them already, just the regular ones, but these are like the Girl Scout version. So this is the chocolate peanut butter, chocolate caramel, and then the um, adventure full ones. So these look cool. This Parmesan cheese, golden blossom honey, and then I always gotta get some sweet. So we got some strawberry shortcake rolls. I've been craving them, I hadn't had them in years. So that is that. We got these two Capri Suns over here. Then, hold on, let me turn on this. Okay. So we got perfectly moist classic white cake. Then we got some townhouse original crackers. Then I picked up this chicken noodle soup. We got four of these peaches from Del Monte. Then my grandma got this spam right here. We got this ragu, old world style traditional sauce, um, pasta sauce. Then my grandma got herself some applesauce and that is everything we got from our grocery trip today. Ziggy, good morning. It's 6.09 a.m. It's Wednesday, February 21st. Good morning. The first telephone directory was published on this day in 1878. It had just 50 listings on a single sheet, so I suppose they could have called it the yellow page. Good morning, you guys. It is Wednesday the 21st. Um, it is 6.28 a.m., so you know what that means. If I'm up this early on a Wednesday, we are going to the laundromat. Um, I don't feel that bad as of right now. But, you know, I'll take my pain pill at like 8.30 and stuff like that. But I don't know what else we are doing today. I know I have to do some college work. Um, but i tell you one thing. I think I'm going to come back home and take a nap. So I don't know if we're going to go and get breakfast. Um, yeah, I don't know yet. But I know that I'm definitely going to come back home and take a nap before I do any homework. Because I'm tired. But yeah, I will see you guys at the laundromat. Alright you guys, so it is 8.51 a.m. We are done at the laundromat. I don't know if y'all can see the laundry. Like, that's my grandma. Look how much laundry I have. That's the thing. I go out a lot. And y'all know I be telling about how sometimes my underarms stink. So sometimes I gotta wear a shirt one time and immediately wash it. So I have so much laundry in there. And like, and it's getting to the time of the year where it's like it's cold in the morning. But then it's hot in the afternoon. Not hot, but it's like... 50s so it's like i'm cold freezing in the morning then in the afternoon i'm like sweating so then by the time i get home i have to wash my shirt but i am going to start kind of putting away my clothes and kind of start preparing for spring ish you know because a good thing about me is that i'm a hot-blooded person anyway so i can really start wearing my short sleeve shirts now but yeah so we are going to head probably to the grocery store to try to pick up what we didn't get to pick up yesterday which is a lemon cake mix and a lemon pudding mix we're going to make some kind of uh my, my great grandma's lemon recipe cake recipe maybe i'll film it i don't know 
But yeah, then we're going to head to Wawa for Wawa's breakfast. And I'm going to get that coffee. I was trying to get that toasted caramel crunch. I'm getting that today because this Wawa that I go to is going to have it. It's not the one that is on my way to school. So yeah, I will probably talk to you guys. I don't know. I told you I'm going to go home and take a nap. So I'll probably talk to you guys when I'm getting ready to do my uh, college work today with my uh, classmates. Okay, you guys, so I got my drink from Wawa. Y'all know I've been trying to get this drink for a minute, so let me see. It's not bad. Oh, wait. So it says, I don't know if y'all can see that. It says, um, one ounce of caramel sauce and there's, it just says two salt caramel syrup so i guess that's the only thing that's drip dip oh on the top it has caramel no cream brulee i don't know it kind of it's not bad it almost tastes burnt i don't know what it is maybe that's that cream brulee i think that is burnt i think they do burn it with like a torch it's not bad though but i'm glad i got it in the small because i don't think i would try that again i'm not a big fan of it but i'm gonna drink it because it's not not horrible it's kind of like the Starbucks one they have. What was it? I think they had a cream brulee for winter or whatever. But yeah, if you guys have a Wawa, you should try it. Um, that's their new drink for now, I guess. I don't know if they're going to come out with spring drinks or not, but yeah. Ziggy, good morning. It's 6.32 a.m. Today is Thursday, February 22nd. Good morning. February is National Canned Food Month. Fun fact, the tin can was first patented in 1810, but it took 50 more years for someone to invent the can opener. It's a good thing canned food has such a long shelf life. All right, you guys, quick outfit of the day because I'm running late as usual. So this is a gray turtleneck on, some sweatpants because my jeans are too small and too tight and I'm on my cycle and I don't, I don't have the energy. <laughs> so we just have on some gray sweatpants. Then my gray and red Hirachis. And yeah, this is my new coat from Walmart, but I will see you guys when I get to Starbucks. It is going on seven o'clock. Ziggy. All right, you guys, I'm at Starbucks. How are you feeling today? Good morning. I'm feeling pretty good. How about you? I'm doing fine today on this wonderful morning. Mm -hmm. um, can so I get can I help you? The um white chocolate mocha frappuccino. Oh, All the, right. Oh, can I get the peppermint one? Sorry. That's fine. Give me one second. Anything else today? Um, no, that's it. All right. Your total's gonna be six sixty six. Okay. Um, can I get the large? Sorry. The venti. Yes, that's fine. Okay. Let me change that for you. And now it's going to be 688. Okay, thank you so much. Alright, you guys. Lately, I've been getting the large when I come to Starbucks because I really love that white chocolate mocha peppermint joint, whatever. <laughs> Their names are too confusing. And then it's like, oh man, I forgot to say peppermint. Anyway. But yeah, I am almost at school. This Starbucks is like two minutes from my school there is a starbucks on campus but i'm telling y'all their stuff is disgusting i don't know what the difference is but i will talk to you guys when i am pulled up at my school all right you guys so i am at school oh, i'm trying to hurry up and rush because i really <laughs> i don't know if it's just because i'm ready to graduate but these classes that i have they just irritate me my my first class when i tell y'all there's about 35 kids in our no 30 kids in our class let's just say that 
and the room is about the size of my bedroom at home yeah there's a problem with that so there's no room and it's like the girl that wants to sit behind me she always has to have my desk so close to her so she can put her feet on my desk like you know how to have like the thing underneath the desk that's not for your feet by the way it's for your books but <clears throat> so when i go in there i can't put my coat behind my desk because the room is so small so there's a table at the front so i can't move my desk up and i can't have my jacket on her feet because i don't know where her feet have been so it's like oh yeah yeah and then my second class and not to mention they're both very lectured based very boring classes so you're just sitting there being lectured at like i said for a whole what is it 110 minutes yay and in my second class the teacher is so annoying i want you guys to not sit in the back like why does it matter where i sit if i'm paying attention why does it matter where i sit so i am just i am just ready to be done <laughs> Well, I'm about to head up in here and hope I can put my jacket behind the thing. The other day I had to put my jacket on the table because like I said, I can't put my jacket where she puts her nasty, dirty feet. I am so over college. Oh, but I ended up getting my drink. I had to uh, pull over and get it because she made me the regular size at first. She's like, well, do you want this one too? I said, oh, no, no, no. I don't need two drinks. And I would never even be able to drink two drinks. But then I think the person behind me got a free drink. So I hope he has a fantastic day. I would if I wasn't coming to school. But anyway, I will talk to you guys when I get home. All right, you guys. So I'm driving home from school and I just want to rant. I don't know if it's going to go in this video because I'm sorry that this video is long, but it's a weekly vlog. So it's like a whole entire week. But y'all, I am going through such a crazy, y'all, the cops is out today. I am going through such like a stressful time in my life. Hold on, y'all. I gotta look and see what color they are, I'm sorry. But anyway, <laughs> I am in such like a stressful time in my life where it comes to like job searching and stuff. And I know it's like, girl, it's February, why are you job searching? The main reason why I'm job searching in February because A, I graduate in May. The only reason why I'm staying behind this car is because I'm trying to record at the same time. So, cause typically y'all, I would have been past him cause he was turning. But anyway, um, they say it takes the average graduate student, when well I graduate student, but graduating student, six to nine months to get a job after they graduate. So if I wait till May, when every other gradu every other student in the country is graduating, you think I'm gonna be able to find a job then? No, that's just common sense. I'm not gonna be able to find a job when every other college student on earth or in the United States is also looking for a job. So that's why I'm looking now. You know, like I'm, I'm always been ahead. I've always been early because it's like, why not? You know, I'm not doing anything else. It's like, it beats me scrolling on social media, which I'm not doing because I'm doing Lent anyway. But it's like, it's something productive to do and it doesn't hurt to job search. And the main reason why I'm looking for remote jobs is because I, I, first of all, I paid like a hundred and something dollars to get my substitute teaching certificate. So it's like, why would I go and get a job that makes me have to work a Monday through Friday, eight hours a day, and then when am I gonna be able to substitute? Never, you know? So it's, there's little reasons why I'm doing this stuff. It's like, I'm thinking, I'm like, I, I don't wanna go get an in-person job. I'm not gonna be able to do anything else. I've, I've worked at a grocery store and I worked at an amusement park and they weren't even full-time. They were part-time jobs, yet I worked five days a week, eight-hour shifts. So it's like, when, when do you have time to do other things? It's like, I am still young, y'all. I am 22 years old. Why would I go get a job and put all my eggs in that one basket and like work there five days a week? How am I supposed to know if I still want to be a teacher or not? Like I'm, I'm, I'm just getting my bachelor's. I very much still want to go back and get my master's. But it's like, if I'm working a full-time job in person, five days a week, Monday through Friday, not like eight hour shift, like, when am I going to have time to substitute around? When am I going to have time to do an internship? I'm looking at internships too. So it's like, I don't want to get, so I may just start looking for part-time jobs. Shoot, maybe I'll go to Starbucks, you know? Like, I just don't want to, you know, put all my eggs in one basket when they have opportunities like internships, where it's like, you you obviously paid internships. You go there, you pretty much you work you know you kind of intern under somebody I mean y'all know what an internship is so it's like the same thing with substitute teaching it's like that's where I'm like 
trying to tell people. I'm like, yes, I want to get a full-time job, but I kind of want it to be remote because I still want to be able to do other things. And yeah, of course, I still want to travel. I still want to go to TwitchCon. I still want to have a kid. You know, it's just like, I, but I just don't want to have no commitment like that where it's like I'm out of the house five days a week just so I can't do anything else. That kind of defeats the purpose of taking a gap year. I might as well go get my master's, you know what I'm saying? The reason why I want to take a gap year or years, I pretty much say two years, I want to go back and try to get my master's in 2026. The reason why I'm saying that is because I want to get a job that's remote so I can substitute teachers, so I can take a few internships and just do a whole bunch of things and just kind of see what I like. Like what if I take an internship at like, let's just say, Enterprise, y'all know they're like they like uh, rent cars or whatever. What if I take an internship there? Cause I just seen one there. That's why I'm saying that. And I find out, oh my God, this is my dream job. This is what I really want to do. I wouldn't have that opportunity if I worked anywhere else. So that is why I'm saying that. I just needed to get that off my chest. So yeah, I will see you guys when I get home. I have to go get gas. I've been getting gas like every week because you got to get gas when your car is on half a tank. If not, your gas costs forty dollars. And yeah. That's crazy. But yeah, I will talk to you guys when I get home, y'all. So I can go back to listen to my music. Okay, you guys. So I am going to try this Target brand hot cocoa whipped cream. And I'm going to try it with some of the strawberries that I bought. So. I always open these up bad. Yeah. Let's see. I'm gonna show you what it looks like for. Ooh. Not bad. So these are strawberries. Let's try it. That's pretty good. Y'all should try that, y'all. I rated it a 10 out of 10. All right, good morning, you guys. Today is Friday. Um, I know I'm up a little early, but my grandma wants to get up and go on to her appointment. And usually, since my body is so used to me getting up at like 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 8 o'clock to me is sleeping in. So now that I woke up, I'm up. So um, I'm probably just going to go and start getting ready, you know, use the bathroom and everything. Make this bed, take a shower. Um, Because I do have some um, of my deaf class homework to do today. Then I may or may not have a career meeting, like a kind of like a final interview at 12. I don't even know if I'm going to even worry about taking that job. It's like a life insurance job. But like I mentioned yesterday, it's just like I'm trying to find like remote work, especially so I can start making money sooner than later. But I don't know if I'm going to take that job yet. And I also don't even know if he's going to answer because he never even said, oh, OK, I got your appointment, blah, blah, blah. So we'll see. I'll just it's at 12. So I'll wait till like 12, 15, 12, 30. If not, then we may go to the farmer's market or crumble cookie or somewhere. But we were going to go somewhere, but I don't know. But yeah, I'm not, like I said, one thing I ain't going to wait. I ain't going to wait for long. If you don't answer me within like the first 15 minutes, then I'm leaving. But I don't even know if I'm going to worry about taking that kind of job. Because I think insurance jobs are like commission based. So it's like it depends on how many people you get and stuff. And I don't really want a job like that. I want like a salary or like a, just a base pay. So it's like no matter what I do, I still get paid the same. So yeah. That is pretty much the plan for today. Um, to, I'm going to end the vlog today. Ain't much health happening, you know. My cardio workout, reading, everything else is pretty much the same. But yeah, I will see you guys when I'm in my room doing some homework. Ziggy, good morning. It's 9.21 a.m. It's Friday, February 23rd. Good morning. Today is Tootsie Roll Day, which is timely, because by my calculations, if anyone's still working their way through their Halloween candy, they probably only have Tootsie Rolls left. Alright you guys, so it is 10.42 in the morning. 
I am getting ready to start working on my homework. I have to do a reflection paper on what we've been learning about in my death class. Which I don't even know if I mentioned. I really did not think that class was going to be what it was. I thought we were going to just like learn about death in general. And like how different ways people die. And how people cope with it. We're over here learning about stuff that they do in Korea. Like Buddhism and Kofunaism and Dao Dao Daoism. It's not what I really wanted to learn about, but it is what it is. Um, Cause my uncle took like a regular death and dying class. Yeah, that's not what we're taking. We're not like, we're it, within there, we're doing like religious stuff, like Buddhism and stuff. Like I did not care about that. Like, no, they like said, that's what you do. That's what you do. But that's not the class I thought I was taking. So yeah, I had to do a reflection paper on that. My grandma had ordered this sweet potato bar thing from Gold Belly, y'all. <laughs> When I say 10 out of 10, that, that drone is so good. I may show y'all later because I know I'm going to have another piece of it later. And I was going to have some more strawberries in my chocolate whipped cream. But nope, I was going through it and I saw one that molded. So once I saw one that molded, I threw them all out. I just, I, I don't, I hate, I love fruit. But if y'all ever realize why I don't eat fruit much or buy fruit much, it's because of that. We just bought that fruit on Tuesday, y'all. No way they should be molding on friday and it probably was molded last night which was a good thing i did not see because i probably would have threw up knowing that i was eating it but and if the good the thing is the ones that are on top didn't even touch it but nope once i know there's mold in the facility i'm done so yeah i'm just gonna try some of these grapes that we purchased or as well and then i'm just gonna set a timer for 45 minutes and i'm probably gonna have me some hot chocolate because i just feel like you know i don't know um, before my meeting so yeah i'm just gonna be working on some homework and everything sorry this video was kind of long i just been talking and rambling and yapping but yeah all right you guys so it is 11 55 i am getting ready to perhaps jump on a meeting or not i don't know but here are my questions that i have written down and i have like certain ones like what are your expectations for me in this role can you explain to me what is the commission-based pay like what will i be paid um, what does a typical day or week look like? Because I am still a full-time college student, even though, like I said, I do want to get like a, you know, part-time job or whatever. Because I can always just do like the part-time role. Um, and I was like, I'm, I wrote, I'm still in college until May. Would I be able to juggle both this job and school? And stuff like that. So I just have a few questions to ask. And I'm actually almost done my homework. So whenever, you know, whenever he jumps on or if not, I'm just going to continue my homework and then... My grandmom's actually on a meeting too at the same time. We're both going to be on Zoom meetings. Twinsies. But yeah, I don't know what else is going to happen afterwards. I got my, um, she's playing music and I have my candle burning. You know, you know how the vibes are. So yeah. All right, you guys, so I am leaning towards getting this um, insurance job just because I don't know. I mean, it, maybe it's just too good to be true. And it's not like it's going to hurt me because I'm not really like putting out much money or anything. But it's just like I can work on my own time. And it's like if I choose to not work for the week, I don't have to work for the week. You know, it's like kind of like how I do my schoolwork. You know, I always do my schoolwork so far in advance, except for now, because I'm taking in-person classes so you can't really do that because the, the, the professor will just be like oh you got homework due by midnight so go home and do it so you can't really do that but when i did online classes i would just do my work whenever whenever i wanted to just as long as it was before the deadline like look at them and look at my babies but yeah that's just what i'm i'm thinking of and it's not like it's a bad thing and it's like I don't really know what I want to do yet. And like I said, I've already talked about how I still want to go back and get my master's in a few years. So it doesn't hurt to take like a remote job like this, like a life insurance job where like I said, I can make as much money as I choose to. Obviously, it's not like always going to be all easy because you're going to have to deal with people. And if they don't want to take it, they just don't want to take it. And that's OK. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. We don't answer the calls when we get them either. But <laughs> if a person's coming to, they usually are going to want the life insurance. But like, um... You know, I don't I think it's I think it's a good idea because it's just it's a way to get money. And like I said, and like he said, he said, if I want to just not work for today, I can go and take my son to the zoo. I can, you know, it's not even just about having a kid, but it's just like the fact that I'm still in school. And what did I say? I can still do an internship like for enterprise or I don't know. I've seen well, who did I see? I've seen a um, McDonald's do internships or like, you know, the store Burlington 
coat factor it used to be called burlington coat factory now it's not so i could do an internship as well and i can still substitute teach and i said that to him i was like i don't really know what i want to do yet so it's like i'm just looking for stuff that i can still do other things with as well if i want to travel i can you know if i want to do other stuff i think it's a good idea you guys can let me know in the comment sections down below um they're pretty much going to be sending me info because i have to take like a test to get like the life insurance which makes sense because i took like a real estate class if y'all remember you would have to take a test to become a real estate agent as well and i was looking into that as well i mean it's like why not try different things because it's like life is life is short but life is also what you make it it's not going to hurt to a make some money on the side b do different things and see if you're interested like i said i could take this job and it'd be the best job ever you know it's like you just never know it's like don't be afraid not even just be afraid to take risk this isn't really a risk because it's like you're getting paid anyway but it's like don't be afraid to try different things and try things that you don't really know if you like or not you know what i'm saying because i took a real estate class and i kind of liked it and i was kind of leaning towards getting my real estate license but i haven't really thought about it much but yeah i'm gonna finish up my homework and i don't know if we're gonna be doing anything afterwards all right y'all so it's friday oh, i'm about to drop my phone it's patience day so yeah y'all ain't seen them in the channel in a minute so yeah <laughs> all right you guys so it is going on two o'clock it's 1 57 we are getting ready to head out so i'm wearing this black queen hoodie i don't know what else it says because it's backwards yeah and I'm just wearing some black sweatpants, Pringle socks, my black Crocs. We we're getting ready to head off to Crumble Cookies. I already put in my order. I can just go there and pick up all my cookies. Then we're going to go visit a family member that is in a rehab. I obviously won't film there, obviously. But I will film in the car when I'm having my Crumble Cookies. So I can try them and rate them and everything like that. So yeah, I will see you guys when we're at Crumble Cookies. you guys so i got my crumble cookie i'm gonna take a bite of this first one this is the um semi-sweet chocolate chunk cookie so mm. i like it it is very soft they're down the there was chocolate on my teeth now that's ghetto anyway Ooh, that is so sweet y'all hold on okay guys so i'm gonna rate it oh my god i'm gonna rate it we're on 295 y'all so i ain't gonna really be the focus i'm struck i'm scared um i got rated at a 10 it's like i'm not a big chocolate chip cookie fan but i mean i will eat them well let me see i'll give it like a 7 out of 10 it's not overly sweet and actually the chocolate chunks aren't as bad as i thought they were going to be y'all they, they driving crazy y'all but um, my grandma will try them later. She obviously can't drive them because she's driving. So, yeah. And the good thing about crumble cookies, we got them not too long ago. And you can keep them for a few days and they don't get like... Plus, you can heat them up in the microwave. So, All right, you guys. Up next is classic peanut butter. So... Sweet at all. 
salt, but it's very good. I don't know. I may rate that a 10 out of 10. That was actually pretty good. Yeah, I didn't know crumble cookies sold cakes, but yeah. I like that one. All right, you guys. So the last one is this lemon cheesecake. They, um, I think it's chilled, so I could not cut it in half. So I'm just going to take a bite. It has little lemons on top. It's kind of cute. So let's take a bite. I don't know if I'm going to like this one. you guys so i'm going to end the video off here we are on our way home got us a slurpee we didn't have coke but i just mixed um cherry and blue raspberry and i also got these tr what are these these chips i'm going to try i don't know when but yeah when does it go bad oh april so i got time but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this weekly vlog i know it was a long video but you can sit back and have some snacks have some dinner and just watch it like a movie i hope you guys enjoyed this video she got them um white cheddar cheetos puffs and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys love you